Think for a moment about genuine confidence. It's not just a performance or a mask you put on. It's a deeply rooted belief in your ability to handle life's challenges. And what is belief? It's a pattern of activity in your brain. We often mistake confidence for courage, but neuroscience shows they are distinct. Courage is acting despite fear, which activates the stress centers in our brain, the amygdala. True confidence, however, involves a quieter, more efficient network. When you feel genuinely confident, your brain relies less on the emotional, reactive amygdala and more on the prefrontal cortex, the area responsible for rational thought, planning, and self-regulation. So, how do we shift from the anxious amygdala to the calm prefrontal cortex? The answer lies in repetition and predictability. Remember, confidence is built step by step. Action must come first, and that consistent small effort, what we call mastery, is what builds true confidence silently. First, the brain loves mastery experiences. Every time you successfully complete a task, no matter how small, from finishing a difficult email to learning a new skill, you generate a positive feedback loop. Your brain releases dopamine, which reinforces the neural pathway associated with that success. You are literally wiring yourself for competence. Second, the power of as if. Research shows that simply adopting confident body language, standing tall, making eye contact, slowing your speech, can immediately change your neurochemistry. It triggers the release of hormones linked to focus and lowers the stress hormone cortisol. Your body language isn't just a result of your confidence, it's a cause of it. The biggest confidence killer is the inner critic, that voice of self-doubt. When that voice is loudest, your amygdala is screaming. To counter this, practice cognitive reframing. Ask yourself, is this thought a factual predictor or is it an old fear-based habit? By consciously interrupting this loop, you strengthen the prefrontal cortex's ability to override the fear center. True confidence is a skill, not a genetic gift. It is built brick by brick through intentional action and neurological training. So start small, stand tall, and reframe your thoughts. To sustain the confidence you've built practically, dedicate five minutes daily to meditation to sharpen your prefrontal cortex's self-regulatory power. If you found this helpful, be sure to check out the full playlist on our channel for more content like this. Unlock your true neurochemically supported potential. Thank you.